Hope you're having a marvelous Monday. Been doing a series of pipe welding videos using four inch schedule 40. I gotta get with the cub on cutting these coupons out of these pipe coupons. He's a little crooked. We'll work with it, we'll work with it. I'm gonna run a horizontal route today, the 2G, horizontal. A couple of different methods. Let me get my hood, my stinger. We'll get into it. Okay. 2G, I had uh, two tacks in here about an inch of long. I'm gonna start on this one back here. A Couple of different methods for horizontal that I, you like to use that are comfortable for me. I like to rest the heel of my hand on the pipe down here and hold this like a pencil and I can kind of get going and do whatever manipulation I need to do with the tungsten. I get out here in front of you. I'm gonna change this and we can wiggle the cup in the rest of the way and come around and bump into this tack over here. I'm running about 130 amps. I've got just a bit of a snug eighth inch. The wire won't fit into it, wanting to. I like to use the eighth inch when I'm in the horizontal so I can kind of get some reinforcement built in there. Let's give it a go. I heat up the leading edge of this tack, put the wire in there. kind of rolling and pushing on this wire just a little bit. Running about 130 amps. So I started over here on this opposite tack, heated the leading edge up, fused the wire in the front of it, and came across here, and I stopped right about right here for the freehand part of it. The rest of the way, I want to rest the cup in here and just give it a nice glide all the way around to the rest of it. Hopefully we can walk it in there nice and smooth. Again, kind of a snug eighth fit, so my wire is just it won't fall through, but I'm, I'm rolling on the leading edge of it, trying to break these walls down, get a little bit of reinforcement. Oops, oops, a little slip and slide there. Okay, I'm coming up to my tack, so I'm heating it up, putting wire in it. Woo! Uh. Hello. A little flat, a little flat. I like to have just a, a, a bit more reinforcement, but uh, you know, wall thickness is broken down on the inside. I've got just a little bit of reinforcement. I'd like to have a little more, but it works. To correct that, I could have that gap open a little bit more, use a smaller wire, feed more wire, but this will work. Again, horizontal roots, you know, we did two methods here where we came off the, the side and rested the heel of the hand on here and kind of slipped along. And then for the second part, we walked it the rest of the way. So I hope this helps out. <clears throat> Again, you guys can do this. This is, uh, you know, everybody kind of sweats horizontal in 6G, and I don't think they're that bad, you know, for being able to see and visualize stuff. I think it, I think it works out pretty good, really. So get your confidence, clean your material. Do yourself a favor, clean inside, clean the bevel face. Uh, you can do this. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Gonna be all right there, camera guy? Following all over the place there. You doing, doing a little boozing today, are you?